for the chat. Uh, hi guys, my name is Indra Neel. I am the co-founder of uh, Seed Savers Club. Seed Savers Club is an online platform enabling small and medium farmers adopt sustainable agri models. Uh, okay, just give me a second. Yes. Now, I'm sorry, uh, there seems to be a problem with my... Great, so uh, we all understand that climate change is real, climate crisis, so to speak, and India is expected to get hit particularly hard. And the most critically hit sector in India is going to be agriculture. What's happening in the Indian startup ecosystem? Let's understand that first. Now, in order to solve the future of food, uh, a lot of starters, most of the VCs, they are looking at option A, premium high-tech farming, these smart machines, hydroponics, uh, great amount of tech inspired by Western success. And they are, well, they are, they are serving the purpose, but they are affordable to only the, the top 10% uh, land holding, essentially speaking, probably 1% of farmers who are holding 10% of land and the richest farmers in India. The balance 90% of farm holding in India, they are looking for low cost adaptive value chains. I'll, I'll come to it. What does it mean? Low cost adaptive value chains. The underlying, um, the underlying motivation for these guys to look for alternatives is from their conventional farming. You know, they're looking at alternatives. The underlying uh, motivation is improved income, low risk of production and markets, and ecological sustainability. So there's a large unmet need for a low-tech transition, low-tech, not high-tech, low-tech transition for this 90% farm holding to an alternate value chain. So the value chains we're talking about, just to put a picture in your mind, we're talking about mushroom farming, we're talking about medicinal plants, turmeric, fodder crops like you know, grass, like napier grass, it goes into ethanol production, fish farming, and so on and so forth. This is the, this is the space that we're targeting here, this unmet need for a low tech transition. How do we do that? We do, we do that with a simple app. It's a community-powered community tech platform. Um, through this uh, community-powered platform, we are solving the end-to-end -end adoption process of a small and medium farmer to a sustainable agri model. What are we talking about here? First, let's understand a farmer is not a poor farmer. He's a SME. He's a businessman. You have to explain the business case to this person first. And it, it, you know, it has to come from experts, from success uh, stories. So that's number one. First thing that we do, we introduce business case, operational models, financial models, so that there is an awareness of what this is all about, this particular model or value chain. For those who are interested, they can pick up new skills and knowledge. We introduce uh, online uh, live sessions with experts. We send them newsletters in form of PDF. Our farmers, our friends, they love to read PDF and share it with their gang. Okay, they've made up their mind. They know how to do it. They need access to inputs. Inputs. That's where we also come in. We, we support input linkages. When the production is ready, they need some place to sell. That's where we come, at, come back with buyback programs. You grow, we will, we will buy it from you. We will solve your market. And through this community building process, through participation in this community by different stakeholders, whether it's a newbie farmer who's switching to a model or an expert success story, this community peer-to-peer -peer interaction takes care of supporting this farmer throughout his farm journey. It's not a government training institute where you get two days download and you're left on your own. This is, this is a farming cycle. It takes time, three months to six months. That support comes from our community. This is the end game. Just to put a picture again in your mind. All these independent value chains that I mentioned of, they utilize each and every resource in a farm. If you have a pond, you can go fish or you can grow duck. If you have a shed, you can grow mushroom or you can do silk uh, harvesting. Every part of a farm is utilized for a certain specific value chain. This is the end game.